Combining AI and shortcuts on iPhone will give you some really powerful tools that allow you to do much more with your device. I still believe that the shortcuts on iOS are one of the most underrated features. They allow you to do much more and now combined with AI, you will actually get some pretty powerful tools like this one right here. Imagine it is a shortcut that allows to quickly create any image you want and it works really really fast like the timeline is one second to 20 seconds in that time you will get any image you want so you run the shortcut you can imagine anything you just add a prompt right there anything you want image with style so you can choose a style image with a sticker and you will have the settings right there as well so i can just tap there and just enter any prompt like this one right here that is preloaded i don't want to change it let's just tap done and you can see right there in about two seconds we get that image which can now of course be saved into the camera roll tap the share button save the image it is actually really really cool and as you can see you can just enter any prompt you want so let's just try another one here so once you tap the done button you can see right there it only takes like a few seconds and you will get any image you want as easy as that directly from your shortcuts now what's the coolest thing is now what's the coolest thing is that you can add your shortcuts to your home screen your control center or even your lock screen and have access to these tools from anywhere you want on your device Next one will be ChatGPT Explore. Now you run the shortcut from here and you can go ahead and chat, compose, voice chat, or analyze the screen or just go to fun where you will have like different games you'd like. You can see here trivia or random facts. It's pretty cool. Now you can see once I run here, I can tap analyze the screen and it will analyze everything that's on the screen of my device. It takes a screenshot and you can ask any question you want specific, whether you want to summarize or just extract the text or anything you want. It is pretty cool. And of course, you will have the voice chat, which allows, of course, to have a voice chat with chat gpt so everything from here will go straight to chat gpt which is really awesome when you get these prompts and just just tap like i always allow and you're good to go so it allows to do much more with chat gpt but now with shortcuts you will be able to do that much faster and basically from anywhere on your device next up is a shortcut called m assistant this is basically your ai assistant you just run it it will just give you any answer you want so the first time you set up a shortcut you enter your name and it will give you right there greeting anytime you basically open it and run it so right here we can just ask for anything so any question you want to ask ai get any answer you want as easy as that like right here i can just ask for something just like that, tap the dumb button and you get the result pretty fast. Now, again, what's really cool about shortcuts and why I believe these are very useful is that you can just run them from basically anywhere on your device. You don't need to open a certain app. You don't need to be on the shortcuts app. You can have them as icons on your control center or on your home screen, or a lot of them can be run also from the share sheet, which makes them that much useful next up is nexus now what's really cool about this is that it also works offline and that's a great feature to have so once i run it i can go ahead and ask a question or ask with a voice so just like that you can enter any prompt you want of course just like you would do with a chat on on ai so basically anything you need but as i said it will also work offline so that's really really great so no information is sent anywhere so it's actually really cool to have text ai is up next now you run text ai and you can choose what you want to use right here so you can just enter any text you want if you have pasted the text from an email or from anywhere else you need so once you run this it will give you a few options so you can go ahead and proofread the text choose different styles or summarize any text you want or turn it into a list now these are some of the features that you have with apple intelligence with the writing tools but as we know, the number of iPhones that do have these features is actually very limited. So what you can do is, of course, use this shortcut instead. So if I have that text, I can go ahead and basically change whatever text I have and go ahead and change the style in this case. 
So there you go, we have a new style and it works really fast. But what's really cool is that even if you're on another app, like in my, if I'm on the shortcuts right here, I can go ahead and tap the share button and I will find text AI right here on the share sheet. Now, what that allows me to do is run this shortcut directly from here. So I don't need to actually select the text or anything like that. Anywhere that I'm on my device and I have a piece of text, I can just go ahead and from the share sheet, run the shortcut and it will give me that menu, which allows me in this case to basically do anything I want. So go ahead and change the text right here. You can see we have the results pretty cool. You can go ahead and copy that. Or if you want to share it, you can go ahead and share it from here as a text document. So again, it works really well. And as you can see, it is actually quite fast. And last but not least is AI Studio. You run the shortcut and you can see right here, you can create an assistant. Now what's really cool is the gallery that this shortcut will offer. If you go to gallery right here, you will have featured and then you will have community. On the community, you will see AI assistants that actually have been created by the community. Or you can go to the featured ones right here and you can just choose any like AI assistant that you need. So it's actually really awesome. Now, if we go to the community, you will see here a huge list of different assistants that you can use for your device. So let's just wait. It takes like a few seconds for this list to load because it's a huge list of all the different assistants that have been actually created by the community for this shortcut. It is actually amazing. Now, once the list is loaded, you can see here a ton of different assistants that have been created by the community. You can see here a huge list of different things that you can do basically based on different assistants and based on whatever you need. So here we have the writing tools, things like the writing tools, AI shortcut ideas. It's actually pretty awesome. So if we choose writing tools right here, we can just go ahead and ask them to perform different actions. So if we paste this, we can just go ahead and add that text to that shortcut. So you can see it will give you a response, but we can just go ahead and ask to maybe proofread that text. So let's just try this. So this is how you do it, proofread this, and then you enter the text and you can see right there, it will give you all the details that you need. So pretty awesome. You can create your own assistant or choose one of the assistants created by the community. So it's actually really cool. So these are some amazing examples of some shortcuts that use AI that will make your iPhone way more powerful. Now, if you want to download all of these, make sure you head on to Routine Hub. I will actually leave all the links in the pinned comment so you can go ahead and check these out. They're pretty amazing. Amazing. So go ahead, download them and support their creators. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found these shortcuts helpful. If you did, of course, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the next one.